Hello everyone. Today I am going to present you how Odoo will manage uh, the cost if we are using standard cost and uh, what is the use of price difference account. So I am first showing the product configuration where I have configured a new product PR1 with a cost of 50 rupees per unit and 100 rupees as sales price and here the category I have named it at price difference so this is a standard price and inventory valuation is automated and these are the standard settings and here the new setting is I have created a price difference account the type is cost of revenue okay and the rest of the properties are same so now let's see how when I am purchasing PR1 with different costing how it reflects in our accounting so I am going into another window I am registering a new purchase order PR1 is my product so I am buying <coughs> the cost of 10 quantity with 50 rupees per unit and I am confirming the order I am receiving that item okay so now one transaction is done let's see our trial balance with stock accounting so my inventory account from my vendor has been debited by 500 because 50 rupees multiply by 10 units and stock received account will have its impact the 500 rupees the PR1 product from my vendor one okay this is clear there is nothing in uh, this particular account nothing no other impacts okay the creditors impact will be there when I am registering my vendor bill so the first impact will go when I am creating a vendor bill <coughs> and let's say my vendor is selling me and sending a vendor bill with 51 rupees okay so here I am registering my vendor bill and confirming it so per unit 1 rupees I am paying extra to my vendor so it is directly going into price difference account can you see here <coughs> okay so this is one impact now let's see how Odoo manages in the ledgers so you can see this inventory is 500 only and stock interim account has been credited by 10 rupees because of my vendor bill 510 and 10 rupees as a difference so this is the impact Odoo is giving automatically <coughs> in price different account it is registering 10 as a debit so 10 credit here and 10 debit here so your account is matching so this is first impact now let's see the second second impact of this <coughs> I am buying a item from another vendor okay the same product PR1 let's say same 10 units but this time I am buying at 55 rupees okay I am receiving my product set quantities and received let's see the impact in my trial balance <coughs> now as you see it has registered 500 rupees only because my costing was standard so as per my product master it will remain same at 50 rupees right so here the same 500 uh, inventory stock interim risk okay for this 31 number fmcg 
v1 my vendor okay and there is no impact over here okay now for this transaction i am creating the bill and confirming it So Odoo has automatically registered 50 rupees of difference in price different account because it is variating from my original cost of product. And let's see its balance sheet impact. <coughs> so here the 500 rupees FMCG1 is my stock valuation. In stock interim account, we can see now 550 as my total received against 50 rupees as the difference and this 50 rupees impact counterpart is going here in branch difference account 50 okay so this is wonderful as using the standard method and registering a price different account still i can calculate my cost of differences from my transaction value okay so there are two use cases we have covered one is if i am purchasing at x price like in my po 27 i purchased at 50 but i received vendor bill as a 55 or a 51 so 10 rupees overall difference has been passed here in price difference account and in second case when i am buying the goods at different price than my standard cost that is 55 hence the 50 rupees of standard cost valuation has been passed here in price difference account with consideration of stock interim account that is credited okay so i am going again over here in my master configuration of category of product there is price difference and here we need to set price difference account to manage the counterpart accounts hope this will help uh, for the people for the user and for the consultant who are still using standard price as a costing method with inventory valuation as automated and can register the difference over here in price difference account to settle the accounting impact okay thank you very much